Hey guys, welcome to my video. I had quite a few comments about these pulse discharge um, capacitor discharge circuits that I've made over the years, so I thought I would show you guys um, all the different ones I've built over the last 10 plus years. Um, some of these are different and some of them are the same. Um, we have some of them that are SCR and some of them that are little circuits. Um, I don't have any of the circuits written down on the paper, but each one is a little bit different um, because the capacity is different, so things have to be kind of tuned in to work properly. Um, like this one is SCR. This one's a different circuit, different circuit, uh, SCR, SCR. Um, this is 12 volt for 12 volt batteries and motors. This one's 12 volt. This one's 12 volt. This is actually um, eight 33,000 uh, microfarad caps at 25 volts and then these are 100 volt at 10,000 microfarads so this one can do different voltages I have it set up for 15 uh, for the 12 volt 30 for 24 and then 60 for the 48 um, and then this bigger one back here um, these are the same size as these just a, a different manufacturer um, there's actually 16 of those and this is a just a big SCR circuit like I showed the other day um, this one I actually made um, for this boat motor for this outboard motor one um, but I ended up using these big monsters for it so these are um, these are the output capacitors and then this is just to smooth out um, all the pulses going in between on it um, and then these capacitors uh, you've seen in my videos this just has a straight diode on it to charge a battery so this is if you want a constant current um, this one's 16 volts at 76,000 microfarads um, this big white one right here is more of a high voltage one it's 400 volts 3300 microfarads I use that for converting the spikes to run lights and different things at you know the 48 volt motors um, and then this big monster right here, this is actually uh, a 1.3 fraud um, 25 volt capacitor. So that's a monster one. So each of these have their place in my experiments. Uh, I've just kind of accumulated a lot of them over the years. Um, they kind of have to be set up for a certain size motor and set up for a certain size battery because you don't want to put this into this battery because. Um, if the spike's strong enough, it could actually um, make it explode, so you have to be really careful with what you're doing. Um, this size capacitor should be, you know, at least a 100 amp hour battery. Um, they're all experimental models of different things, so yeah, they all have their place, and they all have certain motors that they run good on, and some, um, you know, some outputs aren't enough to charge them and discharge them in the right speed so that's why I have so many of them so I have this setup right here um, this is one of my first marine motors I made um, just to charge this capacitor so you could see how the output goes on this big monster um, so basically this one goes at about an amp and a half and this one dumps out at 25 to 30 amps depending on how low your battery is, how much it's going to take on each pulse. So let's fire this experiment up and you'd see what happens. So this is the battery voltage of that battery. This is the amp, amp meter coming off for the capacitor and then this is the capacitor sitting voltage um, for the moment. This one fires right around 16, 16 and a half volts so you'll get to see that. So let's start this up. So if you look, it's about 25 amps, and um, every time it pulses, that big battery kicks up pretty darn fast. So let me get this where you can see it better. So. That's about every four seconds or so, but 
every time that hits and that battery reacts to it um, this motor is using about right around three and a half to three and three quarter amps at 12 volts we're just running this fan like we did on one of the previous videos so let's take a look see that 12 volt battery just bouncing away up there You hear the motor change tone a little bit. The amps kind of go up a little tiny bit as it's charging, discharging. But still, running loads quite easy. This motor's turned way down. Um, I think it's only at about 8 to 10% running right now. This motor can go up to, I think, about 20 amps or more under load. And we're only using. 3.6 to 3.9 so tell me what you guys think on comments let's go back over these real quick you can see all the ratings on them And these big monster capacitors are pretty big. Thank you for watching my videos.